In today's episode, Rog and myself have three hours with just twisted bows to get the best PK setup possible before we fight each other. You think my knees are crusty? Right. Ended. Thank you, boy. End them all. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Bs and Gs of super status. Here we go, guys. Uh, we're back again with another PvP challenge. Uh, today, we literally only have TiVos. That is all we have on us. We do have dragon arrows as well, actually. So when I said literally, that was a bit weird. <laughs> so but... you were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, how are you feeling about this one? I just want to put a, a huge disclaimer that the Debo sucks on anything with low magic, so this Straight. is going to be a really scuffed video. It can take like <laughs> eight hits to kill a cow with a Debo. It's fucked. I know, it's dude. fucked. <laughs> there is just some weird, weird strats going to be happening today. I'm looking forward to seeing what you turn up in, dude. I'll see you yeah. in three hours. Let's do it. Three hours on the clock, and we are starting in a very, very odd position here because we need to grab an item, because today I'm going to be killing monsters that drop me magic-based things, because I want to go magic in the final fight today. So I'm about to start the clock. Here we go. Now, we're over here because we need to grab ourselves a bronze sword, and you'll see the reason for that in the next clip. We are going to go ahead and teleport to Tie Farm as well. Now, the reason we needed the bronze sword was so that we can slash this web, because we need to get through it. There we go. Okay, cool. I think that's all of them. Yes, I am correct. Okay, and the reason we're here is, of course, we can't kill dragons. Otherwise, you know, dragons would be on the list. But they're just way too OP with a T-bow. And, you know, you could just make dragon hide straight out of them. So, we are actually here for the undead druids. They've got a decent magic level, so the T-bow should do work to them. Um, there's also an altar right here, so I can just literally have rigor on the whole time. They drop amulets. They drop runes. They drop... Battle staffs. We're going magic, um, hoping to be able to cast Blood Blitz is what I'm going for um, as my main weapon or attack. So that's what we're going for. We need Blood Runes, we need Death Runes, we need a staff, and uh, hopefully we get a Grubby Key as well so we can get ourselves food and pots together. Oh, there we go. It's a 1 in 50 and we get Earth Battle Staff straight away. Love to see that. An Amulet of Defense. I did get a Strength as well. I don't think I'll use this. Because I want the magic ammy. I think the magic ammy is probably more beneficial to us. But, uh, you know, if we don't get the magic ammy, then we do have this. That's nice. Don't worry. We got the uh, amulet of magic. Absolutely beautiful. We also got ourselves 20 cosmic runes as well. Hey, our first death runes. We need those. We really, really need those. There it is. The first grubby key. That is exactly what we want to see. Yes, that's going to give us chances of egg potatoes or even those cheeky sharks, that would be amazing to get. Could even get ourselves a super defense. We could be stacked here. Wow, that is our first blood rune drop. I'm starting to get very, very worried about the blood rune situation. Ugh, 30 of them, and we need four per cast. That's not even 10 casts right there. Uh, did get some mud runes, which will be useful for uh, casting ice blitz as they are water runes in there as well. So uh, we'll be bringing those for Ice Blitz, hoping he's going melee, and we'll be able to uh, trap him with the ice. If he's going range, I'm pretty fucked. I'm not going to lie, but I think it's a hard route to go with the with the rules of the challenge. So I think I might be safe in range. If he does go for it, I'm pretty screwed. Hey guys, and welcome to the next episode of the PvP challenges. In this episode, as you can see, we have T-Bows. And uh, I'm actually in the wilderness. I'm very scared holding this in the wildy, but all my player attack options are off. I'm also in like one of the hottest parts of the wildy, you know, in between the obelisk and the KBD. Um, this is, you know, a spot where people PK, but we can start with the T-Bow and unlimited dragon arrows. I mean, I'm in the wildy. It wasn't going to bring a whole bunch, but I want to take a riskier approach. And now when I say riskier, I'm not necessarily talking about being in the wildy, although that is freaking me out. I am talking about my setup for the final fight. I want to go 100% magic. <laughs> because I want to go magic in the final fight today. The reason I'm thinking this is because... We can't kill dragons. Dragons are off limits, which means dehide is not going to be that easy to come across. Is it possible? Yes. Do things drop it? Yes. Could he have dehide? Yes. But it's not going to be as common as other challenges we've had. And if I go magic and he doesn't range or has no magic defense, it's going to hit 
It's gonna tear right through him. And now this Chaos Fanatic over here drops Split Bark top and bottom, Ancient Staff, some runes, and some better food than Lobsters. Because of course, if we get any better food, see, freaking me out over there. If we get any food better than Lobsters, we can swap that out of the 28 Lobsters that we start with in the fight. Also things like Prayer Pots. It just seems to be like the move. So guys, I don't know if this is gonna work. In my head, it makes perfect sense. Okay, so we need to protect magic. Um, ooh, seems to be hitting, sort of. Sort, is that a pk -er? Are you kidding me? Please don't be a scout. Oh shit, big hits, big hits, big hits. We gotta dodge that. The drop rate for the split bark top and bottom is one out of 25, so hopefully I could be here for no longer than an hour, get everything I need. Mr. Streamer, what the hell? Why is everybody- Oh, I just want to kill him. Now I'm getting overwhelmed. Oh my gosh. What the hell? Okay, first kill. We're just gonna- We're, we're just gonna hop. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's so hype. We're just logging out. Don't even care. We're hopping worlds. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I shouldn't risk that because I have no food. Um, land to dime. Guys, but I still can't get over the fact that uh, we got this first kill. First kill. I want the top and bottom. There are definitely much better places to get runes. Um, I can get a staff somewhere else pretty easily. Um, I guess I don't want it to take too quick because we can get those food upgrades as well, which are really, really nice in the final fight, the prayer pot. But um, I'm just going to see how things play out because it can go so many different ways. We could recharge the prayer right here. It's super easy. Um, so we just got to make sure we're praying at all times, take no damage, and we, it should just be smooth sailing. All right, the next kill, kill number three, pure essence. We can use raw materials. Oh my gosh, I can make runes with this. Pretty sure I can make runes with this. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Imagine I get the split bark body right now. Okay, more. <laughs> Guys, this is like one out of 32, this drop. I kid you not, this this isn't like a crazy common drop at all. Bury the bones so I don't get roasted. I, I have to bank this because this is essentially death runes right here. And if I don't have these death runes, I'm going to have to farm them in some other way. I still have no idea what spell I'm using. <laughs> what? I mean, like, obviously I already have this one and I don't need it. But the fact that, you know, I'm still getting all the items that I wanted is just so hysterical to me right now. Can this guy... This guy's probably gonna like attack me or some shit, so we're just gonna hop. We're not gonna risk it. All right, let's keep the drops coming in. Let's keep the drops coming in. Anchovy pizzas, that is exactly what I want to see. Believe this is tickets. It's actually definitely a ticky. There's a PKer over there. Ooh, a battle staff. Okay, now we can't use shop, so I can't like alk this or anything, but let's say we have an incredibly hard time trying to find a staff. We could just use this. And I just saw a PK, which is why I was so far over here. So we are just going to hop real quick. Um, not risking anything. Starting to pump the blood runes now. Up to 73 and 84 death runes. Going a bit better now. Took ages to get the first one. And then they've been dropping like flies. Literally back to back. That is amazing. Getting close to the goal amount of deaths and bloods that I want. Uh, I'll probably stay here for another 15 minutes or so. Just try and get myself one more grubby key. But uh, yeah, we've got enough muds, we've got enough deaths, and to be honest, we've got enough bloods as well. Uh, we should be good. I cannot believe that. We've just got the Mask of Renewal. That is a 1 in 1,000 chance. But it does actually help with our magic, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, it is pretty much a wizard attack. Gives 2 magic attack and 2 magic defense, but... <laughs> Jesus Christ, one in a thousand, really? Right, that is going to be me done. I just need to go and bank all of this so we can actually get ourselves um, the grubby key. Right, here we go, guys. Let's see what we're going to get. Come on, sharks, 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 please. Oh, yes, there we go. Uh, super defense and a raging potion as well. I will take that absolute... Oh, my God, I've just got 200, 200 bloods. <laughs> wow. I was... Wow, that is... Amazing! Yes, 200 bloods from the uh, from the chest as well. Oh, that is absolutely nuts! And I've just teleported to Faradon. I really shouldn't have. 
because I need to go, ah, uh, I need to do the Lizardman. Okay, we'll do the Giant Mole now and we'll do the Lizardman after. Right, I've used the Thai Farm Teleport to get back because I actually need a candle as well. So yeah, that didn't work at all. We're back here and we'll go to Falador later. We need to find a candle and we need to kill some Lizardman. There we go, there is a candle in the back of this shop. There should be, yes, beautiful. Uh, take the candle. Oh, you can't take it from here? Oh, that is annoying. That little crate stopping me. Oh, shit. Um, okay, I think there's another one around here. Yes, that's what you like to see. Uh, now I need a tinder box. Fuck. According to the wiki, there's one right here in uh, behind the bank, apparently. Let's have a look. It's locked. How do I how do I get How do I get in the back of here? Oh, I've got telegrab runes. Is this gonna work? Oh my god, please. Please, please, please work. Telegrab tinderbox? I can't reach that, are you joking? You can't get through that door? Oh, that is so annoying. We're gonna be killing the lizardmen down here, and they drop Zeretian fabric, which we can then obviously make into uh Zeretian armor, which is going to help us when we're using our mage. We need 12 bits of Zeretian fabric, though, and they do not drop them every time. I think they're like 1 in 5 or something like that, 1 in 8, around that sort of drop rate, depending on which one I kill, whether it's the Lizardman or the Lizardman Brute. I think there's a Brute somewhere as well. Um, so this might be a little bit of a grind, but it shouldn't take too long, and uh, hopefully we get a little bit lucky and get it every time, but we do need 12 fabrics. Okay, we need one more. I'm actually not going to go for the hat just because we've already got the mask and it's only one extra magic attack and defense over the mask. So I'm not going to bother. It's been taking so long already just to get these fucking eight. And we need one more. Come on. Nope. I think it's a bit rarer than I thought it was. I think actually the Lizardman Brutes seem to be the ones dropping me them. There we go. We have nine. Awesome. Right, now we need to go over to the Farming Guild because there's a needle and a thread and a tinderbox spawn, apparently. Then we'll fire over to Giant Mole. We need to kill the Giant Mole a few times and hope we can get ourselves a Sapphire Ring. Um, and also, from all the drops I got earlier, I'll have the ability to craft a Sapphire Ring into a Recoil, which would be huge uh, in terms of that extra 40 damage. Might try and do two if I do have enough kills at the Mole or we get lucky enough with the Sapphire Rings. Oh, I thought he died! <gasps> I have to bank anyway because I really, really want to secure these anchovy pizzas. And if I die by him, it's actually not the worst thing in the world because I won't actually lose him. I can come back and pick him up, but... Of course, the BKR can snipe me at any moment, but there we go. Pure arm. Oh my gosh, guys. What? So I'm just going to kill myself here so I don't have to die in the wildy and lose whatever I have because I have no food. I'm not using my anchovy pizzas. This just resets my stats. My HP gets back up and we're good to go. So it should be a very short trip back up from Falador. I actually don't have the spot in Edgeville because I'm cheap. And obviously, I can't do it now. So, yeah. Is this monkfish? Nice. And the first kill I came back, of course I hit my quick prayers out of habit and I was using protect for melee and I lost some HP. It's just horrible. I can't win. But you know what? Actually, no, I did just win right here with some monkfish. Guys, prayer pot. Yes, that means we can camp or prayer during the fight. Obviously, we can't use overheads, but if I have augury on the entire time, we get that defense bonus the entire fight. Maybe it won't last the whole fight, but at least most of the fight. Huge item. Huge item. Incredibly quick kill, more monkfish. Just what I want to see. Just what I want to see. And that should be the kill. Chaos runes. Okay, we are definitely banking. 100%. Bunch of chaos runes, bunch of monkfish, and a prayer pot. If you think I'm risking that, you are nuts. Set destination, 13 wildy. Let's get on out of here, secure the loot. So I just got comboed out and I'm running back now. As you can see, I kept the two dragon hours and the twisted bow. We had 250 essence and that was it. We have 750 in the bank still, so it really wasn't a big deal. The biggest deal is that I have to run back and I'm wasting time. So, but other than that, no biggie. Ooh, a shark. It's just one shark, but it is a shark. Look at all this awesome loot I'm getting. I did get another 250 pure essence. <laughs> I don't need it, but uh, yeah, I mean, other than the shark, if I get attacked, I'll literally drop everything but the shark to keep that shark. That's how much I like this shark. I like it a lot. And the next kill, we get more monkfish. I will take it. I will take it. We have nine monkfish in total, one shark, and eight anchovy pizzas that we can now bring to the final fight. And don't forget, we can fill the rest of the inventory slots up with lobsters. More anchovy pizzas, that's good news, but I just want that body. I actually have to get out of here soon. I wanna kill some blood veld so we can guarantee some blood runes. I'm thinking blood runes from blood runecraft, the death runes. 
Um, that gives me plenty of runes there. I could also rune craft some water runes if it comes to it, but I want to try to also get a water staff. But it, it, it all depends on how much time that I have. Um, and of course, we got to determine how long we're going to stay here. I really want that body. Let's see how many kills. I think I have 26 kills, which is past the drop rate. Um, of course, you know, you're not guaranteed it at the drop rate, but we are past the drop rate. So we know we can kill it pretty efficiently, but I can't spend all my time here. So I'm thinking maybe 10, 15 more minutes, and then I have to get out of here. So hopefully at the very least, we can get another shark, some more monkfish, something like that. Maybe an extra prayer pot. I don't know if I'd use it, but having the option is also very nice. Imagine we got what we needed. We actually don't need Chaos Ruins. I definitely want to use a better spell than Burst, but it's cool to get. It's cool to get. So we are actually going to go to the Mutated Blood Veils over in Zaya. I believe I can save spot them. Um, they are going to be pretty ass to kill. They don't have any magic attack levels. Um, so it's just going to be like I'm ranging them with a normal ass bow. That's really, really slow. It's actually a really strong bow, but it's really, really slow. So hopefully the kills aren't too slow. I believe they drop 30 blood runes like every 1 in 10. Uh, yeah, let's bank here. I mean, we have no food we can really use anyway because I'm not wasting the food I just got. Um, so hopefully save spotting goes extremely well. Okay, so here we are. Let's let's see if we can get this save spot really easily. Perfect! Now, like I said, these guys aren't going to really be affected by the Twisted Bow, but the Twisted Bow is a pretty strong bow at the end of the day. Um, and it looks like we are hitting, so we should be okay. They drop Blood Runes extremely common in groups of 30 and 7. So I don't know how much I need, but I could just kind of chill out, calculate some things, figure out my next move, and, you know, figure it all out. So guys, we just got a Mithril Full Helm drop, um, our best in slot. We're not getting many upgrades, but look how horrible this bow is against Bloodvelds. I swear, its max is probably a 12, it, it seemed like. 14, I take that back, but it's just so slow. I could still easily go magic. We have a ton of pure essence, and if it comes to it, I can craft a lot of chaos runes. I also have 350 chaos runes to play with. Um, but if I can still get a decent amount of blood runes, I definitely want to do that. So I'm going to stick with it. I'm here. We could still get some some armor upgrades, like a rune med helm from the Blood Veils as well, which would be really nice going into the final fight because I can still mage with it. It gives like negative one magic attack or something really small. Um, so that's probably the best in slot in terms of me going magic. I believe it drops a mithril square shield as well, some black boots. So we can get some stuff. But blood runes are definitely still our main focus here, but... Oh, it's a little nerve-wracking. This look, look how bad it is. A rune battle axe. <laughs> I mean, that's probably a pretty good weapon, to be fair, with what we're working with here. It's incredibly hard to get some stuff. Um, who knows? Maybe I could even do magic. Bring the battle axe as a nice switch. If he if he has his armor off, I can probably get a free battle axe swing. And I could probably max like a 25 with it. Maybe even a bit higher with Pyteon. It's it's worth it's worth thinking about at this point because this is not working out. Look how bad this is. Oh my gosh, it's so slow. So we managed getting our first blood rune drop of 30. I believe ice blitz is two blood runes per cast. And again, we're totally fine on death runes because we can just rune craft that. So uh, if we can get like 100 blood runes, roughly, that'll be about 50 casts. Then I could bring the chaos runes as well. It sucks because it's an inventory spot, but there's a chance 50 wouldn't be enough. It probably wouldn't be enough, to be honest. Uh, and I'd be cutting it way too close. Way too close. It's probably worth just having the chaos in there just to absolutely make sure. Um, but again, it's just it's just too soon to tell. I can get super lucky in the next five minutes and get two blood rune drops and already be close to 100. So you just never know. You can't tell until it gets much closer to the end of the competition. Oh, tooth half a key. I literally want one of the most common drops on their drop table. <laughs> and I'm not getting it. Oh boy, come on. I just got another rune battle axe. I'm getting, you know, items that I'd normally be excited about. Like, that. that's a pretty hype item. Guys, if you watched a lot of Season 1, I'd normally be over the moon getting a rune battle axe. But it's just not the plan I have this episode at all. 
Oh, and I can't even allocate for coins to then buy runes. Like we're we're, we're just drops only right now. Um, so, oh, and I can't I can't rune craft blood runes using pure essence. I guess like technically could through ZMI, but uh, I'd get like three in inventory. It's just not worth it at that point. So a needle, a thread, yes, 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 and a tinder box. Tinder box. There we go, tinderbox. Please hope we can get to it. Open the door. Oh, it was like it was made for this challenge. Just everything I need right there. Boom, we have a lit candle. Let's go to Falador. Let's go and kill the mole. Fuck, I've just realised I need more than one thread. Fuck. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Oh, you beauty. Okay, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh, I had a mini heart attack there. Brilliant. Let's uh, let's get this done. Let's get some mole kills and let's trade those in and hope we can get a sapphire ring. Right, let's grab a spade. Shouldn't there be a spade here? There we go, behind the estate agent's door. Awesome. Um, And yeah, I'm going to use the ranging potion because I'm not going to use that in the fight anyway, so I might as well use it while we're here. Mole, we got that from the, uh, from the grubby chest. So, let's hope this works. I don't... I'm going to bring a tender box just in case because I think it might be able to extinguish down there. Right, the Tebow should do absolute work here at Mole. I think it is the quickest way of killing the Mole uh, completely. Like, there is even Darrow King. Oh, God, I've gone to the wrong spot, haven't I? Oh, no. Oh, not a good start. Not a good start. Oh, I had it... Okay, we can stand there. It's that spot, not that spot. This is genuinely the best DPS you can do at Mole. It is better than Darrow King if you're in max gear, obviously. We're not... But we should still be able to do some pretty decent work here, I think. And I think I'm only going to need, like, three or four kills, to be honest. I'll probably do two kills, see if we're going to get a sapphire ring out of that, and then we'll make an assumption on what we're going to do after. But bang, as you can see, hitting a 46 there. Lovely. This is seriously painful with no <laughs> no stamina and no Falador hard shield. This is uh, really, really horrible. There we go. Whew, that took some time. Bloody hell. Uh, we got two half key and mole two bits. So we'll be able to trade both of these bits in for a chance at a sapphire ring. Oh yes, that was a kill without even it moving. That's what we want to see. Don't get the uh, extra mole skin though or the extra... I can't remember. Do you get an extra of both? I can't remember. You can have a chance to get an extra one. Didn't get it there, which is a little bit annoying, but... One more kill, because that one was so quick, and then we will check. There we go, it's another one, and we get two mole skins that time. Yes, okay, an extra, extra chance there. Uh, so we're going to have a total of seven chances here for a sapphire ring, and I think they're common as well. So uh, let's go and trade them in. Okay, so this isn't actually a shop, because there's no shop interface. It's what I'm going with here. I am going to confirm it with Rag when we fight, so he might say, no, I'm not okay with this, we'll see. But um, yeah, we're going to trade the mole parts in. Here we go. Oh, we didn't get any rings anyway. Who cares? No point in even asking kins. Oh, I think we made quite a good amount of money, though. I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's have a quick look. 61k from that. Uh, so we won't even have to dispute that one with kins, which is good, I guess. Um, but yeah, no ring of recoil there. A little bit annoying. Right, so I've looked into it, and I think the mole is probably going to be the best thing to actually end on. Uh, it does drop sharks, and of course we could get the sapphire rings. Whether Rog will let us use it or not, I don't know, but the fact it also drops sharks, it just seems worth it. So uh, yeah, we're going to stick at the mole, we're going to do the last half an hour there, and see how well we can do. Hopefully get ourselves uh, some sharks, that's the main thing I really want. And actually, while I'm here, I might as well kill a highwayman. This is something you don't see every day. Someone killing a highwayman with a Tebow. Uh, just for the black cape. I mean, it's an upgrade. I might as well use it. There we go. Thank you very much. And let's check that on. Boom. Okay, I'm not sure why, but my timer wasn't showing up on the screen. But I now have fixed it. That's the time we had left. Um, when I was killing the highwayman and stuff, we had 30 minutes. It was about 29, 30 minutes, something like that. So it has been on. It just wasn't working for whatever reason. But we're back. We're good. And that's another kill. Sharks! Yes! That's exactly what we're here for. Four sharks coming our way. Absolutely beautiful. One more of those and I'll be very, very happy. There we go. That's the kill. Mithril Plate Body. We have 16 mole skins and 7 mole claws. Let's see if we're going to get ourselves a sapphire ring here. Right, guys. For whatever reason, it didn't record my 
opening of the of the seed nest box things. Uh, we got three gold rings, but no sapphire, and they are the same chance, so super annoyed about that. Uh, the rest of the stuff, we made about 100k, and uh, we ended up with the 30 bird's nest. So, yeah, I guess good, but we're not even going to have to dispute it with Kins, uh, because it doesn't even matter now, because I didn't get a sapphire ring. Um, I'm going to just try and get some like slots here. I don't know if I'll be able to get a slot here. A shield possibly might be worth going and getting. Um, I was about to say from Cassie, but we can't buy from shops. I'm just trying to fill these last slots in the last few minutes, but uh, I'm going to have to look it up. Right, we can get some leather gloves in here. I know it's not much, but it you know it's better than nothing. It's better than having nothing in these slots. That's going to add a little bit of defense. And then some leather boots. Here we go, the wooden shield on the floor. So, let me just show you what defense bonuses we get from uh, everything we just went ahead and picked up. Let's get rid of all of this. And uh, it might not look a lot, but all together, you know what? I'll take that. If he goes for like a scimitar, that's plus seven slash. Let's go and show you the setup and see if we're going to win this. A dark totem middle? I'm, I'm, I'm furious right now. I'm furious. I'm furious. I'm furious. I'm getting every item that I don't want right now. Every single one. Every item. Rune javelins? Really? Rune javelins? <sighs> it's gotta be rare drop table. And I know someone's typing right now, oh, rare drop table isn't that rare? Well, it's rarer than blood runes, I can tell you that. That's 100% certain. Oh, a second mithril bar. Hype, super hype, super, 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 super hype, and 67 blood runes. Hell yeah. Okay, guys, is it the 30? Is it the 30 blood runes? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Luck turned around a little bit. We wasted a lot of time here. To be honest, I thought I was going to get this a lot quicker than I did. Um, but I didn't. Anyways, we are going to go grab a hammer from goblins really quick, and then we are going right to runecraft some death runes. I have a pretty good strat because I don't have teleports and stuff, so I'm going to hope it works. Um, if it doesn't, I did get law runes from the crazy arc. Actually, I might just do that. I got 45 law runes, I got air runes, the, I got air runes from the drop here, and I also did get fire runes. So, ooh, a bronze square shield, best in slot. That's actually what I'm going to craft. Well, not a bronze square shield, but I'm going to craft a myth square shield. Took way too long to get a hammer. Way too freaking long. So we have to use the abyss rune crafting because I don't have a death talisman, which is needed if we want to use the normal altar way. Uh, let's see. Yes, square shield. Let's just quickly look at the stats. Please don't give too much negative magic. Six. Ugh, might not be worth using, but there's really nothing else I could get. So it's not like it was a waste, guys. I promise you on that. Um, right. How exactly am I going to do this? We are officially all ready to runecraft. Now, I definitely banked my T-bow. You get skulled there. I'm not <laughs> I'm not skulling uh, with the T-bow in the wieldy with 44 HP. I actually did have a pineapple, well, not a pineapple, an anchovy pizza, just so I could uh, get my HP up a little bit. I didn't want to die. I figure if I am going to die, I could just come back, but I didn't need that one. I still have 15 pizzas, 9 monkfish, as well as 1 shark. And I'm going to have all this runes and in inventory and stuff for the final fight. So, And the battle axe, probably. So I figured, whatever, I'll eat it. See if it works out. Um, I believe my prairie gets strained anyway. This this might be a mess. I need to go to a very specific one. I don't have a pickaxe. I don't have an axe. Uh, I don't have a tinderbox. You can't buy any of this stuff. I actually do have an axe, actually. I take that back. I might bring that mithril axe that I got. That's right. Guys, everything is just like coming together. This is awesome. Enter the death rift and craft them. This is so hype. And then tell Evarok, why didn't it teleport? Oh, this is so nice. This is so nice. I could bank right here. Uh, we can bank the death runes and we could, let, let's get out that ax that we got. Let's wield that. And I took no damage. This is going to be sick, guys. That was so quick. Look at Gotmilf right here. He's probably doing a challenge right now with Link. So I said Link's going to win. Well, I mean, I'm feeling pretty confident about my plan, but we'll see. I'm, I'm about to get barrage, man. So I crafted 225 death runes, which is plenty over the double I need for the 104 blood runes I got. Um, is this water? Nice. Now, I believe I'm going to get like times five. Oh, yes, exactly. So I think I only need 300 of these, and I should be good to go, and that's only going to be two more trips. All right, let's runecraft the last batch. This actually puts us way over 300, which is all we need. 
Um, actually, let's go to Falador because I need to get a blue wizard top because I am going to be maging and I never got the split bark. Um, I only have seven minutes left. Of, of course, the split bark would have been the move, but unfortunately, we didn't get it. We got two legs, though, which is quite funny. Uh, but I'm glad we did get one of them at some defense XP. But we do have the Miss Square Shield. We do have the Myth Full Helm. Not the best because they do lower magic. I think 12 between the two of them, which really does suck. Um, and I'm about to be Scold wearing a Twisted Bow. Where the hell is my Twisted Bow? I just hate this feeling so much. What I'm probably going to do is get the top and then that's going to be it because... There's not much I can do with only a few minutes remaining. And there is the top. I'm also going to snag these boots because we can pick up items. Um, and honestly, on my way to Varrock, sorry, not Varrock, on my way to Edgeville, I'm going to snag those leather gloves on the ground as well. All right, guys, we have the final setup. We are looking like a freaking champ. Unfortunately, our magic attack isn't high at all. But if we end up far casting, or even if he has a weak weapon, we could just take this off and we're at a plus 20. Which isn't very high, but again, based on his gear, plus 20 could easily be enough. We also are going to bring the rune battle axe. The reason is I, I initially got my runes to go for barrage. But if I go for barrage, I only have 50 casts, which might not be enough. Um, I decided to swap it out for blitz instead, which if I run out of casts, I can then go on to burst. Which, of course, is a much lesser spell. It doesn't hit as high. It's not as accurate. But it's still probably much better DPS than using this rune battle axe. Especially if I can keep him frozen. Also, with blitz, I can stack him out. I could blitz and then come in with this battle axe. And even if I hit like a 15-15, um, he might not have better food than lobsters. You know, you can't really out-eat that if he had 15 HP to begin with. Um, I, I don't know exactly what method I'm going to do. That's probably what I'm going to do, but this is the gear I'm going to lock myself in for the final fight, but it it really just depends on what his gear is. I look like an absolute pleb. I'm really banking on the fact that I'm going to far cast him most of the fight. If he is ranging me, I'm hoping it's a really shitty range weapon because I do have some defense. Not crazy, but it's some. Didn't get that slip bark top. A little unlucky there. But hey, it is what it is. We have a lot of magic casts and there's some pretty darn good spells. Right, guys, this is what we're going with. 42 magic attack bonus. Pretty poor defensive bonuses, to be honest. But the whole point of this is that we're going to be casting ice splits on him and he's not going to be able to attack us. If he's gone range, he pretty much gets the win here. But I'm hoping he's gone melee. It was the easy route. It was a really easy way of getting some good armor and good weapons, and I know that was tempting. I nearly went for it, so I think this could be the route if he has done that. Uh, we will be chucking in some blood blitzes every so often to get a bit of healing, um, but that does use four blood runes. To be honest, doesn't really matter because we've got 400 bloods and only 100 deaths, so... Uh, it really doesn't matter which one I use. But yeah, that's pretty much the plan. Uh, we were allowed to change our spellbook outside of the time, so don't worry about that one, guys. And uh, here we go. Kenos! My man, how we doing? How we doing? Oh, I did okay, mate. I think yeah? you, you hit the nail on the head. That was painful. Ah, oh, horrible. It really horrible. was. Raging, raging at these monsters I'm killing, bro. <sighs> raging. I'm going to go with Helm. Let's, let's see what he has on the Helm slot. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Bit of an odd one here. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That, that is a, that is a, you're very correct in saying that's an odd one. <laughs> one in a um, thousand drop rate. <laughs> oh my God. You got a huge smile on, on your face right there, I'm, I'm bro. A, I'm a happy boy, mate. Grinning big. <laughs> okay, Miss Full Helm. Wow. All right. Okay, yeah. that doesn't really give... Neither of that really gives much away, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go cape. Oof, I don't have a cape. Ooh, I went to the highway, man, mate. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> it was like CBA, bro. <laughs> Took me like 12 hits to kill it with a T-bow. It was great. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm going to go with shield. Oof. It's another it. one that it. I'm really not proud of, but I had to just go pick something up, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
What the hell? Myth. Yeah. Where's all this actually, myth shit coming from, dude? Ah, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spill it all right now. Okay, man. all right, all right. Just, all gonna, right. just gonna keep my mouth zipped. Amulet. Oof, I don't have one. But I, I, I think this determines what combat style you might be going yeah. with. But, yeah. And they, I mean... they drop, obviously, a strength, defense, and magic, Ami. So it could be any yeah. of those, mate. And uh, what it is is... Yep. That. You go in magic. Magic's the root. Magic is you the root. magic. Right. So from what you've shown so far, I'm happy. But there could be some dehyde coming out somewhere from from somewhere. I don't know where. I mean, I I could have some rune knives for all you know, man. Yeah, yeah. that's another thing I was worried about. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> okay, what, what would Let's you like? Let's see. Then? I'm gonna go with legs. Oh my god, he's going magic as well. Split bark. Split bark. Dude, my legs are massive in this thing. <laughs> I didn't even look into split bark. No! How good are they? Uh, they're alright. Oh, you know? they give decent defensive bonus. Wow. They're alright. I'm guessing yeah. if I go top, I'm going to see split bark. Uh, I tried. Oh, <laughs> I really? I not see it. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a bit nicer to see. I'm guessing you just have a weapon left. Uh, I have boots and gloves, but oh, okay. I mean, so do like, I. Like leather. Yeah, I mean, like they're leather. Yeah, so. me too. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Ooh. Um. All right. I I know those guys you kill drop staves. Yeah. Of like every variety, I'm pretty sure. Uh, no, just variety. just earth and water and earth and air. Oh, right. Okay. You know what? I'll I'll chuck it up. I got an yep. air battle staff. What have you yeah. got? What have you got? Oh! Are you just going for magic? Oh! I didn't get the orb on top, but I did get a battle staff drop. So you so... can cast. Well, I could cast with. Oh, this oh yeah, as well. you could cast anyway. <laughs> I could cast either way. Like... Wow. Interesting. What spell is he going to be using, though? I'll trade you my runes. Have you got your I runes mean, on you? I do, I do. Mud runes. Mud runes? So those are probably your water runes, I'm assuming? Yeah. Wow. They drop all the actually drop that much. <laughs> oh, he's slacking on the deaths, though. Yeah, massively, dude. <laughs> oh, he's slacking massively. on the deaths. <laughs> Oh my god, where'd you get your deaths from? I got pure essence drops. You so rune crafted? Rune crafted oh my death runes, god, dude. you fucking nerd. <laughs> dude, I know you hate rune <laughs> <laughs> And then I got these. Oh, you bought some chaoses as well. I needed some backup runes, you know? Mmm, okay. I actually didn't bring any backup runes. Uh, so mainly because the air battle staff it's 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 almost like an addy scimitar or an addy battle axe or something so i was just like yeah. fuck it i'll just use the battle staff and and save the inventory spot what what you were killing i'm not sure if it drops food or not better than lobsters i really have no idea oh oh god do you have any lobsters or are you full shark you're I have shark. no lobsters, You're that's what I'll shark, tell you. you. You're fucking full shark. I'm, I'm not full shark. I was not no. going to ice trolls with a T, but... You went to ice trolls? No, I got a grubby key. Of course he did. I killed 250 of the fuckers and only got one grubby key. I'm fuming. <laughs> oh. Oh. Anchovy pizza. I think I have you on food. Slightly. Is that from a muddy chest? No. I killed the Chaos Fanatic. Oh man. my god. You, you went, I didn't trust myself with the t bird in the world. I didn't either. <laughs> the whole time I was screaming, bro. Oh, okay. Fuck. This, this is, is one of those ones where we just don't know, you know? I think you've got this. Going into this, I think you've got this. Looks like Kins might have forgotten something, and uh, he has uh, said he forgot to put it in his reveals as well, but I'm going to let him off here because... Uh... Because it's it's an honest guy. mistake. It's an honest mistake. I'll give you that. What but, is uh, this? It's it's a prayer pot. Oh. <laughs> it's a prayer pot. But I do sacrifice one food for it. But I figured I could have Augury up the entire time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
And as always, guys, another video has gone live over on Rog's channel. The link will be down in the description. Uh, what we went and did was we had three hours. We were dropped into the wilderness, the two of us. We had three hours to see if we could kill the KBD together, only starting with an anti-dragon fire shield. So if you want to see if we were able to uh, kill the KBD from absolutely nothing but an anti-dragon fire shield, go and click that link in the description. <laughs> Yep. Yes. Okay. That's what we like to see. Oh, yes. Come on. Oh, my God. I'm hitting like a truck. Hitting like a truck. I don't like that. Oof. Okay. That's not good. No. Yeah. Ooh, a 17 heal. Yes, fucking please. Whoa. Oh, let's... 20. Definitely lovely. Oh, that's huge. That is massive. Where are the heels at? Where are the heels at? Not existent, bro. Oh, non existent. There we go. That's, that's existent, mate. Feel that 23 going into your face. Yeah, that doesn't feel too good. I won't lie. Doesn't feel too good. Oh, go on. Go on. Finish him. Oh. oh. No. Yeah. Beautiful. Come on. Oh, go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Takes so long. Oh, that's huge. Shit. I didn't actually change. I changed my quick prayers and it didn't actually change them. I've been fucking having piety on most this time. <laughs> Oh my god, you're hitting so much. It's the magic bonus, isn't it? Just doing the work. Come on. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, come on. Surely he's almost out of runes. He's gotta be. He's gotta be. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh. Yes. No. Ooh. Oh no! Come on, <laughs> dude. Did the tendons? The, the, how much I wanted to just click fucking um, protect from melee there was was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, beautiful. Bang! Oh god! Oh, fuck! Right! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, he's out. No. Go on. Go on. No. Oh, fuck. He's got to be out soon as well. He's got to be out soon as well. Surely. Oh, you've got the fucking chaoses though, don't you? Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I should have brought a backup. Why didn't I? Why didn't I? I thought I could kill you in the time. Yeah. I was sure I could. Oh my god. I don't know what's gonna happen. The, the problem is oh you've got that rune. God. You've got that rune battle axe. That's the main problem. Yes. Come on. And again. And again. Oh, are you out? Are you out? Oh, you are not out. You are not out. Oh my god, he's come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You've gotta be out. Oh my Oh my god. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Come on. No. Come on, hit him. Hit him. Hit him. No. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to play for your life here, dude. You're playing for your life. If you win this, I'm going to be so angry. So fucking angry, bro. Come on. Come on, get the hit. Get him in the trees. Get him in the trees. <laughs> play the, to the terrain, mate. Play to the terrain. There we go. Yes. I'm not chasing you, bro. I I really hope you know that. <laughs> He's called my bluff. Oh. Come here, kiddos. Oh, man, Come I here. Clicked. Come here. Oh, you lucky fuck. <laughs> this is this is horrible. This is fucking horrible, dude. This is fucking horrible, man. 
Oh, no. No, 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 no. Kittens, don't do this to me. Oh, fuck, man. Really? From there? Come on. Come on. Miss. 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 How have I not hit you there? Oh, my God. Come no. No. No, 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 no. No. No way. No way. No way. No way. Bear. Oh, no. I that was my I last cannot. cast. No, it wasn't. I swear to God, dude. I'm so few. How? How have that I lost that? That was my last cast. That was my last cast. <laughs> Holy shit! How? I have two water runes left! <laughs> what the fuck was? Dude, the bear almost fucking killed me, dude. I had that that whole stretch. I had nine health, dude. Dude, I had I... when when I ran out I had like seven sharks, eight lobsters. Really? Yeah, you've you, like I had hardly eaten. I'm distraught by that. Absolutely I, distraught. I am super satisfied. Wow. I mean, I did get a little lucky with some zeros and whatnot, but that's how they go, man. You take the luck that gets given to you, mate. Oh, of course. I, I know you do. That's for sure. <laughs> Guys, if you enjoyed this one, there is another video with me and Rog over on his channel. Go click the link in the description and we'll, uh, we'll catch you over there. We're not even going to outro this one. We're just going to say hello in the next video.